Hey guys, uh, just quickly I wanted to go over something that um, I've been thinking about recently, which is that we're all caught up in this sort of, you know, gear treadmill where everyone's always trying to get the newest machines and the newest software, etc. And, you know, older things get discarded. Um, and, you know, I've been one to kind of want to keep my old gear around. And to be honest with you, some of that started to collect a little dust over the years. And so while I was thinking about this, I decided I wanted to try to break some of this stuff out and see how I could integrate it into my current setup. Uh, so one of those pieces of gear is uh, the Roland MC303. I picked that up probably, oh geez, almost 20 years ago. And if you own one of these things, you'll probably know that it can cause more frustration than happiness for various reasons. Um, you know, some of those are the fact that it's uh, got some limited capabilities in terms of outputs um, and, you know, it's full of patterns, etc. that you can't get rid of uh, that are kind of dated, etc. However, there are some advantages uh, or some useful tools that are still in the MC303. Um, I mean, it's made by Roland, so you've got uh, a lot of the original classic kits, the 909, 808, some cool hip-hop kits, etc. And for me, one of the main things is that you can use the uh, cool step sequencer, which is basically modeled after the uh, traditional kind of step sequencing that Roland brought out with their classic drum machines. So uh, thinking about that, I decided what I wanted to do was uh, use the MC-303 to trigger uh, sounds in an Ableton rack. There is a video, uh, an old video about this on the net, um, but it's not very clear how to set it up. So I just wanted to quickly show you uh, how to do that. So um, first thing to know is that the, uh, the drum patterns, uh, the drum sounds rather, um, are going to trigger on MIDI channel 10. Uh, that's a standard MIDI channel um, for drums to come out on. So when you uh, MIDI this thing up and have the output of this going into your DAW, you want to go ahead and select your drum kit uh, to be receiving on MIDI channel 10 uh, in, from whatever input that you might have available. Um, so I use an AMT8 and I've selected port 5 so I've got um, my MIDI output from my MC303 coming into port 5 and then triggering on MIDI channel 10 and I've got my drum kit to receive there. Uh, the next thing you want to do is uh, go to your drum kit, and once you've loaded up all of your drum sounds, uh, you are going to want to select which note they receive on. Um, so, for example, I've got the kick here, and I want it to receive on a standard MIDI channel for a kick from the MC303. So when you go here and set this up, you'll notice in the uh, chain that you've got receive channels for each of the individual instruments in your drum rack. If you click the drop down menu, you'll notice that uh, Ableton have kindly put in what they uh, term as GM suggestions, and that stands for general MIDI. Now the MC303 is going to trigger on general MIDI channels. So if I want my bass drum to be triggered, I'm going to select the bass drum for this particular pad. If I want my rim shot to be triggered by the MC-303, I'm going to select the general MIDI channel for a rim shot, etc. And uh, all of the main sort of sounds that you'll find are going to be listed here. Now once you've done that, you're good to go. Uh, you simply set up the MC-303 to send its, uh, its sounds externally um, and if you have a manual you can find that it's just a matter of selecting each sound uh, and uh, with a shift function setting it to transmit MIDI out and once you've got that all set up you'll be able to hit play on your drum machine and have it trigger sounds in your, uh, in your Ableton rack uh, and you'll be able to step sequence patterns, uh, you'll be able to use mutes on the MC-303, etc. And it's a really fun way to kind of build up beats. So uh, I've been doing that and uh, building up patterns. And after I build the pattern, what I do is I hit record and record that out into uh, Ableton so I have them ready. Um, you have up to 50 patterns in the MC-303, so I've got them stored in there as well but uh, it's just a nice way to um, 
to get some patterns and to build them rather than doing the whole sort of piano roll, drawing in stuff, to kind of just do it old school in a, in a more fun way to me anyway, and step sequence. I should also mention that a nice feature of this is that once you have uh, the MC303 triggering your Ableton rack, you can use the swing feature in the Roland MC303 to swing your drums, and it's a nice way to get uh, kind of a Roland classic uh, drum machine swing to your patterns. Um, so with no further ado, I will let you hear a couple of uh, beats along with some bass and pads that I've set up and you can get a sense of um, what I've come up quickly triggering Ableton drum rack sounds with the MC-303. Mm -hmm. 